Hi, I'm Glenn Dunks, reporting from the launch of Ausflix and the Australian Film Future Foundation, where industry members have come along to toast the future of Australian film. With a screening of the National Film and Sound Archive remastered Aussie classic Starstruck, followed by a gala cocktail party and fundraiser to kickstart the AFFF's grant program. Where do you see streaming in terms of the future of film viewing? Well, look, streaming is a, streaming is a fact, and streaming has just over the, over the time that I've worked professionally in that sector gone from something that was pretty out there and something for geeks that was specialised to the way that people actually see films now. I think st streaming is taking the place that tradition that broadcast traditionally had. But, and there seems to be a really interesting coexistence between the big screen experience and theatrical and streaming. So the fact that we, with digital technology, can now restore films to the glory of 2K and 4K resolutions and bring them back to the big screen and make them available conveniently and easily on desktops and on mobile devices through streaming really opens up a whole new world for movie um, appreciation. What do you think Ausflix will mean to the future of Australian cinema and its filmmakers? Well, I think, you know, first of all, just the idea of the one-stop shop is what excites me. The idea of knowing full well that if you want to immerse yourself in Australian film, there's one place to go. And that there is a commitment to actually having every Australian film that we can get access to at that site is what's fantastic. Over the passage of time, the value of films changes. So you, you might go back and see something from the late 70s or the early 80s, which now seems kind of more significant and more impressive than it was even uh, back then. This is making films accessible to us as critics who you know, live and breathe this stuff, and we, it helps us to introduce them to new audiences, which is our passion as critics. I mean, that's why we exist, to introduce these films to other people and share our enthusiasm for them. What would a launch be without speeches? We heard from those leading the charge about their hopes for Ausflix and the AFFF and the challenges they see on the road ahead. We want to play a part in recognising, preserving and promoting our fantastic film industry so that future generations will aspire to make Australian films and celebrate our very special cinematic culture. We have got the vast majority of Australian films literally under people's beds, in their closets and in their mum's garages and we have to go and find those films now and we have to digitise those films and make them available and there's a very, very big job. It is a mission, it is a task that is bigger than any of us. But if we lock hands, if not for profits, producers, audiences, screen culture entrepreneurs, museums, galleries, archives, work together to ensure that we get a critical mass of debate going that we, as Ron said, talk about the importance of the moving image to tell us who we were, who we are, who we wanted to be, and in some cases who we really didn't want to be or become. We are at the point at the moment where Australian film is greatly at risk of disappearing. And I'm not being melodramatic when I say that. There are a lot of films that are not going to see the light of day unless we act now and in the next few years to digitise them and make them available for the future. And being able for, you know, my kids, for filmmakers, for general public, for the rest of the world to know the history of Australia through film uh, is going to be pretty amazing. We embrace initiatives like the Australian Film, Fu um, Film Future Foundation and Ausflix and I say like, bring it on, let's work together in not only raising awareness but raising money to getting our films digitised, restored and to audiences. I spoke with some of our supporters and found there was a real excitement for how the AFFF and Ausflix will enhance Australia's film culture. I'm really looking forward to being able to see it as a body of work and be able to you know, look through it and see the transition from from decades and from styles and and just moments you know it's really as a body of work i think it will be really really interesting to be able to look at it once once it's all together so you know it's a brilliant 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 project
And a film like uh, Starstruck, which we've just seen, it's just been restored. It's a 1982 film by Gillian Armstrong. It's a musical. I've read about it. I've sort of studied it broadly, but I've never actually seen it on the big screen. And I, it's just really amazing that that kind of film is going to be available to see stream digitally and people are going to be able to find it when they read about it in a book they'll be able to just find it and watch it. You don't have to look far to realise that there is a whole body of Australian films that have been lost forever so the idea of, of uh, a, 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 you know a, a, a collective of uh, people that, are, that that's their interest to keep a you know, film alive and uh, is, is very exciting. I think it'll help significantly. I mean, there are so many filmmakers who really struggle to have their films promoted. Um, a lot of them don't even make it to the cinema um, just because they lack that marketing budget. So I think being able to have, rely on donations to have their films digitised will actually help um, the films get um, to an audience who can actually see them and appreciate them. I think it's been a wonderful night. I think it's a really exciting project and I've been aware for some time that we're losing a lot of these wonderful Australian films who have such a long history. This is a really exciting project and I think it's going to gain some traction uh, and I'm hoping that people will do like I have and take a, a form for working out how to contribute in some meaningful way, meaning financially. It, it, it will only need to be done once and then the Ausflix Thing will kick in and these things will be available on subscription for people and I think it's a fabulous idea, timing is great. This has been Glenn Dunks from the Melbourne launch of Ausflix and the Australian Film Future Foundation. Until next time, bye for now.